Can a contact lens case be your best travel companion? Keep watching and I will show you how in this video titled Travel Essentials 2023. Hello everyone, I'm extremely thrilled to share my favorite practical trips for travel in 2023. I've been traveling since birth in India and internationally since I was 8 years old and now I live in USA and I have traveled 40 states out of the 50. So you know these trips are uh, tested and tried. Before heading out to our shopping spree, uh, please take a moment to like, share and subscribe to Kavi's Corner to get instant notification of my next video. So let's dive into our video. I'm shopping at Target today and at Walmart, but you can find these products anywhere in your local department store or grocery store. Head to the travel section first and grab your travel essentials. And the most important one that you need are your over-the-counter medications and your prescriptions especially Pepto-Bismol, Imodium, and your allergy meds. These are your best friends during travel. And get the pill form, as liquid forms may not be allowed on carry-ons. All your important medications on the carry-on, because sometimes your other baggage may have been lost, and you may lose your medications. Next, pick up a good book to read. I picked up The Colors of Life by Navia, my brilliant niece. She's on Amazon. Please check it out. Let's head out to the camping aisle for insect repellent, wipes, sprays, and after bites. Please check for a higher DEET percent than the regular repellent. My friends usually travel to India, but once you reach your destination, buy a local repellent as the species of mosquitoes varies geographically. And uh, there's tons of repellents to choose from, but be wise as most of it, if not checked in, you will lose it uh, or be thrown away. So put it in your main baggage and uh, if it's more than three ounce, definitely put it in the main baggage or if it's a spray. I find wipes handy as they can travel with you wherever and uh, if at all you need a spray, buy a small one and keep it handy to pull it out once you reach your destination. And very useful kids if you can spray it on the clothes instead of the skin as they may be allergic or you know, the smell may be repulsive to them. Walk up to the aisle for the elderly. Let's talk about compression socks. For those who are on prescription meds or over 50 plus, please wear an anti-embolism compression sock to avoid blood clots during circulation uh, because this is a big issue with the elderly. And since it's a long flight, you may, your uh, movements may be restricted or confined and your feet may feel, uh, you know, it's dangling for too long and may swell up, making it a very uncomfortable and painful for some. So please do carry a embolism sock or a compression sock and also carry some 81 milligram aspirin in case you have any discomfort. Next is an essential first aid kit for on the go accidents, especially if you have little kids. It is all the essentials uh, for keeping your kids safe with antiseptic wipes and band-aids, etc. So please buy one. Let's next walk to the feminine hygiene product place. Uh, ladies, please take an extra care uh, by carrying your monthly cycle products, your wipes, your liners, etc. Don't think you can go to the destination and pick up some. It may not happen. Some of your familiar products are not available globally. So please make it a point to pick up what you're familiar with and keep everything handy because feminine hygiene is as important as your health. And remember, you'll be using sometimes public bathrooms as well. So be prepared with whatever essentials you need to be safe and enjoy a nice trip. So let's walk up to our hydration part. I have this little formula called the liquid IV, which is so important and so useful and very handy. These are small hydration packets to mix with your water or juice if you feel a little dizzy or lightheaded during your travels, especially during summers or hot destinations. So please take some with you, especially if you have little kids and the elderly. This is a yucky one, but it is totally optional. It's called Sinu Rinse. It clears your nostrils of dry air and other gunk, especially bacteria during travel. It helps flush your sinuses of dust and pollen if you're going to a dusty area for vacation. And it can call, cause congestion and ruin your whole vacation. And please use the salt packets that come with the uh, Sino Rinse and use lukewarm distilled water, not the local tap water. There are a lot of cases of bacterial infestation 
uh, happening because of people uh, not using the right water. A digital thermometer and a pulse ox, the reveal of the contact lens case. It is to carry my moisture cream as well as my petroleum jelly for chapped lip and dry skin. Travelers suffer something called deli belly. To avoid that, we take travel on, which is basically a pill which is available online. Grab a water bottle come flask for a quick coffee or a cold beverage. Carry universal electrical plugs for destination country to use with your portable devices and phone charges. Many are available online. Keep all your liquid toilet essentials in Ziploc bag for security purposes. Always carry your prescription medications in your carry-on baggage. I portion out my daily meds and supplements into small bags, individual size and carry it with me for convenience sake. Since meds cannot be taken on empty stomach, I keep some handy snacks of trail mix and biscuits. Summer vacations, don't forget your beach essentials of sun hat, sunglasses, a scarf, a sunblock lotion, insect repellent and a hand sanitizer and a good book. Grab water wipes, hand sanitizing wipes, flushable wipes, Clorox wipes, especially for disinfecting surfaces. My petroleum jelly is a great defense against sunburn as well and dry skin and chapped crack feet as well. So keep them handy and moisturizing cream is my makeup base and keeps my skin hydrated and fresh throughout the day and fits in my pocket, my handbag and it's easy to go through airport security. Cabin pressure changes dramatically during takeoff and landing and it could hurt little ears. For that, I would advise lollipop, little gum or feeding the babies if they're awake. Otherwise, let them just rest. These travel jars are great for diaper bags. For baggage safety, always lock in your check-in lab baggage with the TSA approved locks. So they come in many shapes and sizes and colors and all look alike, so number them so you don't go crazy on your vacation. A pretty ribbon to your baggages so you can identify at your destination and makes it easy. Thanks for watching and like, share and subscribe if you liked this video and found it useful and leave me a comment. Bye.